guys what's going on it, it's xp on the wednesday it is hump day today guys it is the middle of the week it's all down in the hill from here all the way down to friday which we'll get to start the weekend shout out to becky davis in chat said her father had a medical emergency becky we're praying for your dad hope he's gonna be okay hope everything's gonna be okay with him Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Go ahead and go take care of your family. Make sure everything is okay. Sorry to hear about your dad, Becky. You're welcome aboard. Glad to have you in the stream and chat. Appreciate it, Becky. Thank you, thank you. I know we're flying your favorite airplane, Southwest, but I hope your dad's going to be okay, Becky. So thank you so much for hanging out with us, guys. Guys, welcome aboard. We continue our trip down the Classic Road. Uh, we flew the um, Airbus Classic A300 on Monday. Now we're going to be jumping to, into the Boeing Classic 737-300 Classic with all steam gauges in the cockpit. We're going to make our way down from Omaha, which we landed on Monday, down to uh, New Orleans. I've been to New Orleans in a while. We're flying out of Vertical Sims New Orleans on this one. Uh, sorry, Vertical Sims Omaha down to Vertical Sim New Orleans. That's what we're going to be doing today. So welcome aboard, guys. Glad to have you in the streaming chat. I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So without further ado... Let us go ahead and do what? Let us run the track and say what's up to each and every one of you guys here. So big up yourselves. Uh, who we have? Benny. Benny is in the house. What's going on, Benny? Benny. Good evening, brother. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you here. Appreciate hanging out with us. Thank you so much for the 44 months, Benny. Benny. Thank you. Thank you. Big up yourself. Uh, we also have Nerdy for 28 months in the house. Big up yourself. Says monthly check-in. Here comes three years. Yo, Nerdy. I'm telling you, brother, you're almost at three years, my friend. Big up yourself, Nerdy. Thank you. Big up Benny, Benny. Big up self. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream chat. Glad to have you more. First officer, Pilot Depth is here. Mr. Monographic Quarter Block is in the house. More guest one is here. Brian Eater is in the house. Welcome aboard. Prototype Gaming, welcome aboard. Becky Davis, hope your dad's going to feel better. I know he will. Thank you, thank you. Emmett Nemesis is here. What's going on, Emmett? Big up yourself. CST Gaming, the man, the myth, the bridge. And CST, how was your stream earlier today? Hope well was at work. Couldn't get a chance to tune in, but big up yourself, man. Let's get this party started, CSD. CSD, that thing is almost here, man. I've been tracking it. Hasn't been dropped yet, but big up sub. Hopefully, we'll have it by Friday, my friend, so we can show it off on stream. Welcome aboard. Joe Mayer is in the house. Jordan J242 is here. Forgotten the passenger says, greeting. He'll be con in control of the drinks car today. <laughs> oh, boy. He's going to be serving and drinking. Big up, FTP. What's up, man? Leonardo is here. Amtrak fan 1987 is in the house. Captain Will is here. Jordan McDonald's in the house. Costas is here. Cam MD80 is in the house. What's going on, Cam? Big up self. Welcome, welcome. Greg Feaster is here. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Goops, um, Rube the Duber is here. Okay. Big up self. MVJ39 is in the house. Welcome aboard. Hey, Rev Alvin O'Neill. God bless you, my friend. Welcome aboard. Trust Set Simulator. Yeah, not Atlanta. Exactly, Trust Set. Different places, man. That's what we're doing this week, right? Aviation Midas is here. Mamba204 is in the house. Ed E is here. Welcome. Lance Harmless is here. Nathan Reed is in the house. Greg Hill is in the house. Welcome aboard. Zaddle Flies is here as well. Welcome. KK Plays Games is in the house. I'm going to West Palm Beach tomorrow and Southwest 73 Max 8. Nice. Enjoy your flight in the West Palm. Weather should be beautiful tomorrow, KK. Welcome. Nathan Reader is here. When are we doing Hawaiian Airlines, Nathan? No idea, man, but we'll be, we'll be back when we can. Welcome. Aboard. ID's in the house. Uh, welcome. Tony SVA Ops is here. Bliss is in the house. Benny Benny is here. Michael Gabriel is here. Nerdy is here. Welcome, welcome. Raw You is in the house. Andy Boyce, of course, is in the house. Happy on day, Andy. Welcome to the stream and chat. Jamie and Manning there. Mr. Greg Hill is in the house. What's going on, Greg? Good evening, brother. Glad to have you in the stream and chat, man. Appreciate it. Mikey D there as well. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome aboard, man. Definitely, man. Richard, American Airlines is here. And Jackson Burton is in the house, a.k.a. Jackson. What's up? Yeah, classic day, man. Classic, classic, classic today. 
I love the wheel covers on the 737. Every time I see it, I'm like, why does the wheel look funny? But yeah, it's the wheel covers on these bad boys. We'll get to see these spin in flight. Remind me in flight to show you once we're at cruise. These wheels are going to be spinning underneath the airplane. I promise you. I'm not even joking. Just watch. Once we take off, gear retracted, and we're in cruise, the wheel's going to be spinning in the belly. So we're going to be flying this bad boy. Anyway, without further ado, we got a two-hour flight. Feast your eyes on modern technology. Look at this. All these steam gauges and buttons. Love it. <laughs> uh, any long haul, Oliver? Waiting for the 777, man. 777, I'm waiting for that one. So anyway. Anyway, you may need to divert easy to get away from this storm in Kansas. There's a storm in Canvas. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a storm in Canvas. Definitely, man. For real. But anyway, um, we, we're good to go. Anyway, let's go. Ahead. Let's jump up. Fire this bad boy up. I was expecting you to drive yesterday. Where you at? Uh, Zato, life, man. Busy, 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 Zato. But I promise you we'll do some driving. Um, what's going on? There we go. Here we go. Make sure we are good. Got all my wing views up, all that good stuff. Look at that engine. Cool. All right, let's go start this bad boy up. It's the classic. And we're going to go... Let me go come down here. Make sure we're good. That's fine. Make sure our ground services are good. We're going to connect the GPU over here. Uh, that's going to be good there. Absolutely. And let's make sure that... Yeah, we got everything we need. Let's go fire this bad boy. Let's go... Battery can come on. Emergency lights and external power. Oh, I love, love, love that sound, man. Yep, definitely. And let's come down here. We're going to do the position lights on that. No, no, no. Position light is... These things are always backwards. Position light is going to be on, yeah. There we go. On, on, on. Not on that. That's fine. And then we're going to go to the IRS. We're going to go in nav 1, nav 2. We're going to start our passengers boarding here in a second. Seven minutes to alignment. There you go. Good to go. And we have our web FMC working, so we can run with that. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and start the boarding process. Get the passengers on here. Why not? In the meantime, while we're waiting, let us <clears throat> get it on and go. Uh, what are we? Southwest? Yeah, we're flying south. This, this airplane does have southwest announcements, I think. But um, let's go you. And we're going to go you, and that's it. Start getting on board. All right, good. That, ooh, it's raining outside. Interesting. Not bad, man. <coughs> Big up self, man. Uh, Mr. Igor Aguilera, what's going on, brother? Welcome aboard. XP, do you think the 7 version 2 will come this week? Uh, Oliver, I hope. I don't know, man. I don't know. What's up, little J? Big up self, man. Welcome to the chat at stream, little J. Glad to have you aboard here. Appreciate it. Uh, big up, big up, big up. Hope you're well. Let's go FMC. We're going to go Ponzinet. We're going to go K-O-M-A. That's where we are. M-A. W-A. A-M-A. Omaha. Now we're going to go to the second page. Copy that left GPS. And paste you there. And go to the route page. Omaha to K-M-S-Y. We haven't been to Louisiana in so long. I forgot about that airport completely. I completely forgot forgot about it. It's been a minute since we've been there. That is a little bit too loud. Turn that bad boy down. There we go. And we're going to put it in our route here shortly. That's good. Started. Uh, Denver Center is on. Are we in Denver airspace? What airspace are we in? I don't think we're in Denver airspace. That is Denver. Omaha is beside Denver. Yeah. It's just us. Definitely, man. Mr. Jarvis Studios. What's up, brother? Big up, so man. Andrew B is here. This is my kind of aircraft. Perfect era with mixed up dial gauges, small amounts of glass, CRT screens, bro. It is, man. It is, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. Winsberg, what's going on, sir? Welcome to the streaming chat. Glad to have you aboard. Appreciate it. Uh, what's the temperature outside? I don't even know how to find a temperature on this steam gauge thing. Somewhere up here should be a temperature gauge. I remember where it is to see outside air temperature. It's all steam gauges. Anyway, it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the APU here. Let's go turn that on. We have a little bit of fuel in the gauge. We have 10,000 pounds right now. Let's go ahead and fire this up. APU and hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. And that should start up. Let's go listen to the APU sound outside. Listen to this bad boy start. If I remember what it sounds like. <coughs> they are part of Minneapolis. Captain Will, yes, that's what I think, man. There's that sound right there. Just landed in Halifax, but the runway didn't have any poppy lights. Is this normal? Haha, <laughs> it shouldn't be, but hey. We gotta know how to visually land it, man. 
Absolutely, man. Got to know how to land it. All right, that's it. APU is starting up, coming up there. We should be good on that. Is it running? Let's see. Is uh, APU running? Yep, APU is available. Let's go APU gents. I love the bus sound on the old airplanes. Good. Let me go bleed can come on. Max is on. One and two. That's good. And we'll deal with the uh, pressurization system afterwards. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up our flight plan here. Let's go to charts. And we are looking at the Southwest 2806. We are 737-300. CFM 56 3B2 on these bad boys. Now we're in pounds today. Uh, looking at... 18,000 pounds of fuel, I think, is what we're, we're rocking with. And how much passengers? Let's go with that. And then we'll get a route. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put in our route. Right now, it looks like we're doing 1 4 right. Let me go 2.2.8 two here. Hold on a second. Give me a second here, guys. Where's my phone dinging, dinging away here? Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, let me do some ready check. And uh, Omaha traffic ready check. Make sure we could do that. 122.8. Here we go. Switch it over. And we got VHF 1. That's good. And Omaha traffic ready check. Check, check, check. Yeah, I know. I'm broadcasting. Can't hear anybody, but it's all good. We don't need that at all. Man. I almost always forget about this plane. I should pick it up. Yeah, it's a good plane to fly, man. When you want to get back to your old roots of flying, that's what it is, definitely. Man. Tony SVA Ops, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard. Hello, my skilled is here. Big up self. Welcome. United 1212. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the stream chat. Have you ever flown out of Midway International? Yes, I have, Jarvis. Very short runways in Midway. I've landed there as well, and it was very short, too. Anyway, all right, let's go. Let me tilt this here. There we go. We could see the screen better. Tilt it. There we go. Look at that. I love that. You can tilt the EFB on this. Nice. So we're doing runway 14 right. Let me just verify, see where we are. We're at Omaha. Make sure 14 right is going to be where we need to be. Epic Field. And we're going to go airport diagram. And uh, where are we on the ground here? So we're over here by the terminal. 14 right is, guess, 3 2. Yeah, one four right is gonna be. So we're gonna push back and move to the right side. One four right by Alpha. That's good. All right, that's cool. Um, so one four right direct to MCI, then Juliet Forty One. Sorry about that, guys. Allergies are killing me. So we're gonna go to uh, MCI. MCI there. Juliet 41 here. That's good. And then from Juliet 41 to SGF directly to Lit. SGF to Lit. So SGF, SGF to Little Rock, Arkansas. I've never done this route before, by the way. First time. Little Rock to MCB and then the Trish 1 into 11. Little Rock into MCB. So we're doing um, MCB. Execute that. And let's go to the departure on here. Uh, we're doing the one for right. We don't have a sit out of here. Execute that. And then the arrival into going to be, I said this going to be the what? Trish arrival. Who's the arrival again? Revival is going to be just Trish 1 into 11. I don't see the Trish 1 on here. It's interesting. There's an ILS 11. There is my Trish 1 arrival. Is my, my um, air rack updated? Well, we have to swap those out to Awad 1, Olida 4, Rhythm 4. Let's go look at that. Let's look at the charts down here. What's going on, Digital Merc? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyone knows the CTAF frequency on Omaha? Uh, is it the tower? Is it? Would it be the tower frequency? I think that C T A F uh, K O M A. Let me see that. C T A F K O M A. Let's try that. Command unknown. That doesn't work. Let's try it again.
that work doesn't work at all for me. So would it be Hello, the tower frequency that would be it? Not sure. Flight. Anyway, I'm gonna, let me go look at this here. I'm going to go to the back overhead bin and smaller search. items underneath the seat in front of you. Unless you're in the front row, please place all of your items in the overhead bin. Yo, King German, 254, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard, man. Let me look at our arrival charts. We need arrival from the north. There's the AWAD. Once all your so items are coming, put away, we can do please clear the from aisle and sit down in your seat to allow other passengers to find their seats as well. Yeah, we could do if you are seated in an emergency LSU. exit row, please read the exit if seat not, responsibilities in the safety card in the seat back in front of you. Awad, please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, nope, no, please Alita let a flight attendant know at all. That's so you can be seated. Well. Uh, we can get also do the rhythm four and the slide two. To, but we ask that once we depart from the gate, you put away any laptops or tablets. Thank you and welcome aboard. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it. A wad one arrival. A wad one arrival. That's it. And that's gonna be Kamala LSU. I think that's our last waypoint. A wad one arrival. LSU. I think LSU was our last waypoint here on this. Let's go route. Uh, no, MCB. Let's do MCB. We're going to do from LSU. And uh, execute that, and we'll run through and see what that looks like. Alright, so flight plan is in for now. We'll wait for the iris to fly, and we'll take a look and see what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, uh, the CTAF frequency, I can't get. Do C. Do dot CTAF and comma on your V pilot. So I'm using X pilot. It doesn't work at all, man. OBU, what's up, my welcome board? Bryce says, there's a gap at the top of your green screen. There's a little line above your head. I have refreshing on mine. There we go. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it, man. CTAF works in V pilot. Not sure about the other clients. Yeah, digital. It doesn't work. The only other way um, CTAF would be the tower frequency. Let me just do and Southwest 2806 radio check. I am broadcast, but I can't hear anything. Uh, 1, 2, 2.8. Let's try that again. VHF1 broadcasting. And radio check. I don't know. Yeah, I can't hear anything on the radios. I don't know. Anybody else can hear me? I think these windows open, by the way. Do these windows open in this plane? Yeah, it does. Those windows do open. All right. Uh, so flight plan is in. That's good to go. Uh, let's go look at our weight and balance here and fill that bad boy out. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to ground services. We're going to slide you over here and get the charts over there for the weight and balance. And start putting in on that. <clears throat> so that's good. The cabin crew... Four passengers should be up and ready. And uh, we don't need any lights at all. Port service door, app service, that's fine. And let's go to the ground services here and then the pre flight. I love this new weight and balance screen that they came up with for the IXCG. That's pretty good. All right, so we are going to do aircraft fuel left, right, and center. Is there a total? So the total pounds of fuel should be 18.1. So let's go to the um, left and right side. That's um, 10,000, and we need to put in the center, what? I'm sorry, that's 20,000, that's good. We only need wing fuel, 19, that's good. That's good on the right and the left. We're gonna um, start fueling on that. That's good, fueling is going up. And then the load sheet on the passenger amount, we're looking at uh, 101 passengers. 101 right here. Uh, weight factor, I have no idea what the weight factor is. So anyway, we have one empty seat left in the first class, row three, uh, A, B, C, D. Three D is empty. <laughs> so that should give us our zero fuel weight of 97. We're looking at zero fuel weight of 99. That's fine, a little bit over. Fuel is 19.7, total weight is 119.8, total weight is 147. A little bit heavier than normal. That's what we're rocking with, and that's going to be the passenger filling on the airplane here, man. Velvet Blue, what's up, man? Been a long time, brother. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Glad to have you more in the stream and chat. Appreciate it. We got to sell over here. Glad to have you here. There we go. Uh, anybody else on ground can hear me? Uh, ready to check Omaha traffic. Is it my headset? Or I can't hear anybody at all. Roger. Definitely. All right, cool. So flight plan is in. Let's go down to the uh, plan mode here. And we're going to run through this flight plan. Um, this uh, yoke is in the way. I think you can get rid of the yoke here. Go ahead and reduce the yoke. Uh, just your pipe. Let's go ahead and bring it down for now. That's fine. We can see the screen. So we're taking off to the south on one right. And we're going to go ahead and step through this to MCT scan. Ulock SGF Little Rock MCB. Uh, there's a discon with LSU. Now we're gonna go ahead and erase that. Step through Little Rock MCB, and uh, how far out is LSU? Let me just look at the range here and see. Let's use them to be all the way out of there. So what we could do is get rid of MCB from our flight plan and just pull it, put it in LSU. Let's go U, U, and execute that. There we go. Let me back it up the page here. All right. So if we back it up the page, come back on the range here, Tad, and go SGF Little Rock. LSU and then go vectors into our runway from Voodoo. We can actually go ahead and clear that disc on as well. There it is, execute. And we are built for our runway 11 in. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're good to go. Flight plan looks good, ladies and gentlemen. Just go back to the uh, normal mode here. Um, make sure we get our seatbelt signs on and chime signs on. Let's go. Seatbelt can come on, that's good. Let me turn on the uh, electric pumps, turn on the window heat. Heat of heat's left for later on, that is good. So all we gotta do now is the weight and balance and we're gonna be good. We can get out of here. Absolutely, man. <clears throat> HD Sim, what's going on, brother? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, brother. Good yourself. Absolutely. Uh, back to the normal mode. Set on that. There we go. Cool beans. And let's go ahead and plan our curve stuff here. And then we should be out of here. We'll go back to you, go back to the airport, and go back to uh, Good deal. Alright, let's go to the init page. We're ready to go when you are. Zero fuel weight. We said it was we gotta type that in. So Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, weight. and welcome aboard flight. Let's go Point ahead and go to the uh to Louisiana. The Our flight, flight time will be roughly one hour. And so we're looking at a zero fuel weight of ninety nine point eight. We ask that you make sure that all devices are so in airplane mode and your larger devices are now shut down and weight. stowed. If you have not already, we're looking at reserves is going to be two dollars. Verify it is low and tight across your lap. Total weight is going to be one nineteen. That is correct. Our cruise altitude is going to be what? And what's our cost index? Cost index and cruise altitude needs to go in there. So let's go to home charts. Cost index is nine. Cruise is three three zero. Wow, that sucks. So three three zero. Nine degrees on the cost of mix. You know what? No, make it 55. We're not gonna go slow. Execute that. 18,000 transition. N1 limit. B rate to 45. You know what? No, B rate to 30. That's better. 91. And then we're gonna do a flat five takeoff. CG is gonna be 4.2 on the trim. Make sure we got 4.2 here. That's good. And let's go ahead and hit look at our V speeds here. That's good. V speeds are going to be 135, 137, and 145. Ladies and gents, we are golden. Absolutely golden. Good to go. Just need to do our glare shield. I'm uh, going to do 170 here. And if we're taking off runway what? 14. We're going to do 140 on the runway heading. One forty. Then our initial two is going to be uh, 5,000 feet on the initial. 
There we go. Uh, let's get our flight directors on. One and two. We're gonna do L nav. No, you know what? I forgot that L nav and V nav can't come on on this thing until about 4,000 feet, believe it or not. 400 feet. It's a classic. <clears throat> uh, Andrew, no. Not gonna be flying it anytime soon. Definitely. Yo, Ray Pilot, welcome aboard, Ray. Glad to have you in the streaming chat, brother. Appreciate it. Big up, sir, Ray. Uh, let's go ahead and close up these doors here on the cabin crew page. Cabin crew. Uh, close you, close you, and the last door we can close up. That's good. Just make sure these doors are closed in the overhead here. And uh, looks like the doors are closed. Awesome. See what sign is on. Let's go ahead and turn on our position anti-collision can come on. And let's just do the T-A-R-A. Squawk code on T-A-R-A. All right, cool. I think we're ready to go. Let's uh, set up the block time over here as well. The block clock, I should say, not the block time. There it is. And uh, we can request our push back and get the stepping out of here. And we're going to be pushing back nose to the right on that. Alright, plug it. Better push back. Let's start it. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Where's the line over here? Oh, only that line is far. I push back all the way to that line. It's gonna be a long push back. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Alright, I think we're ready to get out of here. Yeah, flight time. Thank you, thank you, Jackson. Get man. What's going on, VLB fishing? Do you think you will do another night flight to DC? <laughs> yeah, one of these days, VLB. Why not, man? Definitely. Absolutely, though. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here comes the tug guy. I think we're good. So we have our V speeds. We have our glare shield. Uh, you know what? We didn't grab the ATIS. Uh, K O M A A T I S. Almost forgot to grab that. Uh, Omaha Epley Field ATIS right now. Um, information Foxtrot 040 at 6. 10 now is few class 8,000. 10,000 scattered. Broken 20,000, 19 degrees, 2971. 2971 is the outside. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. There you go. 2971, that's good. Once, twice, three times a lady. 2971. There you go. Cool. 2971, that's good. And we're good to go. Push back and to the right. AK Ideas, what's going on, brother? Good evening, man. Welcome to AK Ideas. Glad to have you on the stream and chat. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what? I think I pushed back along the right here. Oh, yeah, no. All right. That's the right. That's it, man. The music is very nostalgic. The, the gauges are very nostalgic. Yes, the gauges are very, very nostalgic on this airplane, Andy. Absolutely is. Definitely. So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. All right. Parking brake time to release. Make sure there's nobody behind us. And Omaha traffic, Southwest Tornado 6 pushing back. Um, the gate crap. All right, let's go. Park brake can be released. Put my seat up. Here we go. That's off. Starting push back. And you may start engine. All right. And disconnect ground power. That's good. Push back is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, bleed pressure here. By the way, we need to go at 33,000 feet. Almost forgot. Let's go ahead and do. 33 on this before we forget. One, two, and three. I don't feel the passenger side. 33. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention right, cool. to the We need to go to um, PAX 1 and 2 off. Lead pressure is good. Cross drive right, is there. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can pretend like we have your attention for just a moment, it is time to point out the safety features of this building. Alright, cool. And let's go ahead, engine number 2 to start. Watch the steam gauges here. Make sure we have uh, N2 rotation. There is the bleed pressure. That's good. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Let's go fuel on number two. Oh, that sound is nice. Love that, man. Peyton, Boeing, Boeing, my friend. Welcome, Ray Pilot. What's going on, sir? Good evening, brother. Welcome to the stream chat. We got man. Yo, size up Congo. It's been a minute, man. Size up. How you doing, brother? Welcome, board size. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you on board. Mr. Tim Vreeland is here. 
as well. Good evening, Tim. Glad to have you in the stream and chat. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you, man. Big up, big up. All right, looks like we got one. These engine starts up so quick. I'm not even used to that right now, how quick these engine starts. That's engine number one. We got started, but let's go engine number two. Check our M2. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake set. Number two. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. And it will pump some, uh, some fuel in here. This is a motor in the engine. Let's put some fuel on the barbie here. Let's go fuel. Nice. It sounds are different, man. It sounds are absolutely different. Definitely. Love them. Oh, don't. You know what? Let me close this, this window here on this guy. Close it up. You can actually hear. Actually, let's open these. You can hear the sounds from outside with the windows open, which is crazy. Absolutely. So it's disconnected. I'm by Captain. I'm hitting JetBlue. Signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a good flight. Yeah. All right, there goes the tug guy. He's going to be doing his thing. It's pretty sexy. Who's my outside body? It's neutral right here. Let me just double check my volume here and make sure we're good to go. Let's go to references. Cockpit sound volume. Turn you up. I can't come up with a tad here. And that's good. Alright, cool. We got two good engines. Let's go Gen 1. Gen 2. That's good. Fuel pumps should in on already. Let's go Yaw Damper. Uh, Pedo Heat is on. That is good. Here, let's go back to pack one. Pack two can come on. Uh, AP bleed can go off. We need to set this to flight mode. Always forget that. You gotta put it to flight mode. These are old school days. That is good there. Um, flight director one and two is on. Let's go continuous overhead here. Let's go flat five. Flat five is coming out. Classic. Good evening, Curtis Holmes. What's up, man? Welcome. Rich S. Wagwan. What do you got to that, man? Let me explain. What's up, brother? Welcome. Let's go auto break. Yes, his name is Levy X. That is Goon. Uh, we could turn on you for the weather radar. That's for having any terrain around here. Oh, that's the, uh, what you call it? Q400. Who's Q400 is that? He is out of here. There he goes. He's gone. Cool beans. All right. Uh, auto brake set. Um, flap set. Let's go ahead and do a recall check. And then we could go ahead and turn on the taxi light here. We're going to kill the APU camera off. That's good. APU off. And let's do some flight control checks. We don't have anything to check except that moves to the right. Nose up. Left side. Nose down. Rudder right. Rudder left. That is good. Yes, yes. All right, cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Where is our taxi? And uh, Omaha traffic, Southwest 106, Alpha 1, Alpha, Whiskey, Hold Short, not right, no sense. Cool. Uh, remind me to close the windows on this. Let's go park brake. Is off, that's good. Uh, let me go to you and get you back up, that's good. And let's go ahead and start the taxi. Here we go. Old school. What's up, Jeff Jordan? Good evening, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Taking off. See you in um, in New Orleans. All right, no problem, Benny. Benny, have a good flight, man. What's up, Wazy? Good evening, sir. Welcome aboard. Welcome, Wazy. Welcome, welcome. That's good. Dana Crow, what's up? Good evening. Welcome aboard. Welcome. welcome. That aviator gonna be on the big screen TV tonight? Thank you, brother. No problem, man. Appreciate it, man. Here we go.
Alright, uh, these speeds are set there. Southwest is rounding down the runway. It's good. Here he comes. It's Alpha 1 right here. Okay, he's beat. He's steaming down the runway. Who's he gonna rotate or what? I don't know, hopefully, he'll rotate. He's gonna do Alpha 1. Alright guys, let's get that like button up for the classic here. 73 classic. You won't see it anywhere else. Let's get the like button up for this classic airplane. One of Southwest's favorite airplane. From back in the day. Here he goes. And let's go ahead and you go to the end. Risky right turn up. Hopefully the plane is not too loud, guys. Let me know. Let me just turn down the plane sounds just a tad. There it is. Alright, cool. Not bad. Don't forget to close the windows. Yeah, Andy. Or we'll, 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 we won't forget. We won't forget to close it. Here it comes. This thing is beautiful. Oh, look at the lights here. And the lights on the wingtips, when you extend the lights, they come down out of the wing on this. I'm going to show that to you guys. Remind me. The, uh, the land lights extend up out of the wing. It just drops down out of the wing on the land lights on that. It certainly does. Yeah, that's a beautiful plane. It is. If I had this in Microsoft, I don't think I would ever cut the native versus the aviator. Nice. It is a classic, man. Definitely. Andre Nerds, what's up? Andre, welcome aboard. Welcome. Do you ever fly the, the fly the fly J Sim 7, 732? I own it, uh, NM Fly. I think I only flew I only flew that thing once on stream, one time, and it's being updated for X Plane 12. So as soon as it comes, it probably will be flying the Classic. It's a different plane to fly because um, it, the engines take like 20 minutes to spool up. So if you're coming in on final on the wrong speed and you're slow, good luck to you. That's all I can say. It is, it is, the engines take forever to spool up on that thing. Definitely, so yeah. How am I getting 60 FPS? Settings, 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 settings. That's it, man. That's it. Come on, guys, 100 likes for this classic. Let's go, we can do it. Let's go, man. I have an RTX 6700. I get like 20 for the Z-Ball. Mr. Carter, what do your settings look like? That's the issue. Big storm ripping through Kansas. Just saw the weather on YouTube. Good work. What does that look like? Yep, here it is. There it is right there. There's a storm. So we're going to be taking off going over that storm right there, heading south on our 12 hour flight. So yeah, we got this one ahead of us. Yeah, that kind of center line, sir. The only thing is that my rudder is too sensitive on this, which was a little less sensitive. Alright, let's close up these windows before we forget. Sounds. We are quiet now. Mr. Atif Azar, what's going on, Atif? Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Let's go. Let's go. Shorty plane. I think this is the size of the 700 knives. I think so, man. Good to go. Uh, settings in three, two, one and there we go on settings. Pause that. Take a look at it. There we go. 100 likes and I'll depart with the windows open. <laughs> oh man. Uh, what do you prefer, X Plane 12, uh, OB, Y or what? Uh, the flight model. Does X Plane have a 757? Walsy, yes, it does. We'll be flying it on Friday. And Omaha traffic, Southwest 20 out of 6, lining up on wet runway uh, 14 right traffic. Alright, lights, camera, action. So lights, lights, lights is on. Let's go strobe lights can come on as well. Strobe's on, beacons on, anti-collision's on. Let's go ahead and start the clock over here. Start that clock instead. There we go. Clock started. Gonna line up and wait. 
and then we're gonna look down the runway and get out of here. Let me go ahead and turn the auto throttle can come on as well. LNAP and VNAP does not come on until after 400 feet off the ground, something like that. Here we go. One for right, identified. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Are you, Randy? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome aboard, Randy. Glad to have you aboard, man. How come? How does the Phoenix compare to the Tolis? I'm gonna fly the Phoenix, the Tolis shortly. I'm trying to remember how it felt feels. Once I get my hands on it and fly it again, which is gonna be coming up pretty soon, I'll, I'll let you know how it feels. Definitely. All right, I think we're ready to go. We're good. Let's do it, man. And Omaha traffic. We are Southwest 26, ready for takeoff runway. One for right traffic. Let's go. Let's pull them up. Go. Got my tow that was on this thing. I am power set. There we go. Here's speed for life. Ninety knots. Hundred knots. One twenty. It's a rocket ship. One. And rotate. Oh, she's smooth. Look at that. Let's fly it off the ground here. Looks like we got a positive rate of climb, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go here. And let's do fly by as she passes here. One of the best fly by sound any plane. Absolutely. Let's go LNAV and VNAV. Just gonna keep hand flying this bad boy here. Here we go. Level it off right there. See ya, Omaha. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna go direct to MCT. Execute that. And let's go to LNAV and we're direct. Good to go. Watch our speed, watch our flaps. And we're at uh, 200. Let's go flaps. One. And then flaps up. Flaps coming in. Watch that. We're climb, watch our speed, get the nose up, and keep climbing up there. Flies good. Like that. And flaps going clean. At 3,000, let's go ahead and go up to 12,000 here for now. And 11 and 12. Let's go. Watch that. Goes down a tad. Get her up. That was good there. Awesome. 4,000. Still climbing. On speed. Turned out nice. Going for a little bit of turbulence here. Goes down from climbing. Going to be a rocket ship. There we go. That's better. That's trimmed out. I'm at 240 right now, 5,000 feet. Do a quick little flyby here. Watch her fly out of home. Sheesh. She's a rocket ship. Gotta watch her. Definitely, man. Oh, yes. These sounds of Andrew B are raw, man. That's what I love about this airplane. It's just raw sounds. Now, there's my 250 on the speed at 6,000. Still climbing out. Gonna hand fly to 10,000 here. In the meantime, let's go ahead and reset the gear handle. That's gonna reset, that's fine. Our gear handle reset, it's good. Speed is good on the climb here. Awesome. And trimmed out nicely. Trimmed out pretty nice. Speed's good about 251. There's a climb. That knows as we get our up through the clouds here. And did we turn on the radar on this thing? I think we did. Let's go weather can on that. The weather radar is on. Let's make sure. We're not going to have any issues here. We need to line you up. We need to send a range on you. See where we're going. Two on click. And nice departure. Alright, 9,000. Still climbing. 
going to climb. Here's a weather radar sweeping. Make sure there's nothing out here in front of us that's going to be in, in red. So we're looking at make sure there's nothing in red. We got to tilt the nose up and tad. I love that. You can tilt the weather radar up where you're going. Here we go. It's better. All right, not bad. Coming through some clouds at 9,600. And let's go autopilot. Command A can't come on. So now we're in LNAV, VNAV speed, N1. Command O. Good to go. And there is turbulence right there. We got some turbulence as we go through. Alright, we're gonna nose over, speed up to our climb speed, and then um, we're gonna be good. So let's go ahead and turn off all these lights. Can go off, off, off. Let's go off, off. off as well. Reset you guys to uh, your kids. Oh, excellent. Good to go. Break right through this cloud here, Charlie. Um, so off on the auto break. That's fine. Reset the well let's go to 240 for now. 240. I want to see the breakthrough on this so the breakthrough looks like right going through to the other side. What I think of the Flabauer A380, I'm going to be flying it when it comes out, that's what I think about it. Oh, we got turbulence. Okay, that so. She is rocking and rolling. Rock and roll! And where's break now? This is the weather that we're taking off into that's going on right now. That's that weather. Let me turn the slide up a little bit here. That's good. Right. What's up, Era Hub? Welcome, board man. Where's your track IR? Can't see it on your head headset. I'm using Toby. Uh, Toby Eye Track, man. Toby Eye Track is what we're using. There it is, our breakthrough. Let's go. Uh, quick weather flyby here as we bring her through. Worst of it. So, uh, 14.4, that's good. Climb speed is going to be 296 knots on the climb, that's fine. Eight minutes into the takeoff, we're LNAV, VNAV speed, that is uh, lovely as well. And I think our cruise out to is what? We are cruising on up to, up to 33. There's 33 on the cruise. All right, 33,000 feet, ladies and gentlemen. We are on our way. Let's go now. Definitely. Yeah, this does have the best flyby sound in any set, right? Absolutely nice. Definitely. Hey, cool. Cool beans. Uh, we're out of it. We're climbing up. Uh, we have 40, not 40 on that. Let's go extend this to 80 and we can start chilling. We can get to top of climb um, in about 60 miles. 33, we're coming up on transition. Let's go to 992 here. I'm oh, sorry. Long things. 2992. Or standard. 992. Standard, across the board, everybody. That's good. Locked out 24 minutes ago, and we are 9 minutes into the flight. Cool beans. That's it. I think we're good to go. Let's see the wheels, the, the wheels spinning, um, and then fly. Yes. Give me a second. I'll show you, man. Uh, what mods am I using? Uh, none, 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 none. No mods. Hold on. Let me see if I can show you the. the spinning underneath. See if it's still spinning on that. Activity stopped it. Oh, it's not spinning. Normally you'd see the wheel. I think I tapped the brakes after takeoff maybe why normally these would be spinning in flight. I'm supposed to see that right here. 
these would be spinning around underneath the belly, but I guess they fixed that. Wow. Uh, who's going to win the boxing match between Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Uh, Mike Tyson will win if he gets through the first two rounds and he's still standing. Remember, Mike Tyson is an old guy, right? And I don't think he's been punched by anybody in a long time, especially a young kid like Jake Paul. Young and fit and very old. But if he lets Mike Tyson go two to three rounds, it's over for him. So he's got to take Mike in the first or second round. That's my, that's my prediction. We'll see what happens. That's it, man. Uh, Mr. Dixon Official, what's going on? Melvin Bottom. Uh, Rando is here, so XP, do you prefer the 300, 700, have no personal preference? Um, 800 is my plane, Rando. 800 is my, my perfectly balanced plane of all of, all of the 737s. The 800 would be the one I would go with. Yeah, I love the NG, the 800. But yeah, that's, that's what I would go with, man. Definitely. Alright, we have cleaned up. I think we're good. We can do a recall check. Uh, pressurization is doing pressurization of things. Um, capping altitude is six and a half. Uh, yep, six and a half. Pressure is four pounds of pressure. Sorry. I'll take that back. I'm doing that wrong, aren't I? I keep forgetting how to read a sign. That's pressure difference, PSIs. Capping altitude is uh, 4,000. And that's the pressure difference right here. I think. I don't know. Well, yeah, we're good in the whole bed. Everything is all right. Everything is stable. And we are looking good. Looking fantastic. Uh, okay, that's 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 but 700 is a rocket ship, Randall. The 300 is a classic. Old school all the way. Actually, what is the weather for the arrival? Saying thunderstorms when I look on the internet. You know what? I need to check that and see what it's going to be. Hold on. Our expected arrival weather can just have to turn down the interior volume here. References. Um, weather, arrival, um, information Gulf, winds are 1408, 10 mile vis, few clouds 3500, broken 6,000, 6, 22 degrees, 2999er. Uh, no, uh, looks like we're going to have decent weather on arrival into New Orleans, um, Jackson. Looks like we're going to have decent arrival here. Oh, yeah. Um... Are you talking about the weather, Rando, that's going on in Kansas, Oklahoma area? Is it the weather you're talking about? Yeah. That would be crazy. You're riding good. You're sitting pretty. Uh, 27,000 feet up to 33. That's not a bad climb for 15 minutes of climb. We're probably going to go on to 35, but we'll, we'll work with that. That was good. I love how the instrument shakes. Look at that. The way the needles move in the sim, it's so smooth, it's crazy. And that shaking speed on the speedometer, I like that effect as well. I always love how these count up. They're, the resolution on this is so just nice, the way how smooth the needle sweeps on this thing. All of the needles just sweep so smoothly on it. It's crazy. What's up, Ryan Jones? Big up, brother. Welcome to Ryan. Glad to have you. And just the way that the needles are jumping for the speed, Mach 177, needles are like shaking. You know, I, I, I love, I love that. Look at the chrono needle. How smooth that is. Have you ever had any amazing thunderstorms in Fort Lauderdale? Is the sea blue? Jackson. South Florida is thunderstorm city, man. That's where all thunderstorms are made in South Florida, bro. Crazy, especially the summertime, it's nuts, man. Alright, Andy, no problem, man. Thank you, brother. Get that work done, bro. Get that work done. It's not like back hurting all of a sudden. It's crazy. I 
yeah. Ryan Jones, what's good, Ryan? Good evening, man. Welcome, Ryan. Glad to have you on the stream in chat. That's a lot of cut. I love seeing the ribs and the livery on this thing. Let's look at the ribbon ribs all through here. Our climb out to the next one is crazy on this. Southless, if you can lose. That's it right there. What's up, Manish? Good evening, brother. Welcome, to man. How are you doing? You're well. Glad to have you in the stream chat. Appreciate it, Anish. Big up, man. Big up, big up. I remember when you were live uh, streaming last year and you had a thunderstorm and it did your stream. Yeah, I know. That's why I have a battery backup now, uh, Jackson. Battery backups are. Uh, Gentile, the flight was about two hours, so we probably have about one hour and 40 minutes to go. We got about 140 to go on that. Yeah, about 140. I love this cockpit, just like how I love the, uh, the A300 cockpit, with all the dirt and the smudges and the scratches all over. It just looks so real, like, you know, it looks weathered appropriately. Like the dirt marks in every corner, the edges of stuff. Yeah, man. Can't be beat. Love that, love that, love that. Let me go ahead and switch you to. That's good. Switch to range over here. That's good. Do we have traffic on? Traffic, traffic. I don't think we have traffic on. Yeah, traffic is on. Alright, we are coming up to cruise 32.9. We're going to do our cruise speed of Mach 0.75. Now we're going to go faster than that. Let me do uh, speed. I don't want to speed up from that. I need to speed up. Oh, that's a change over. I forget how to take over speed on this. Anyway, we're at cruise. Let's go ahead and go. Seatbelt signs can go off. Seatbelt sign is off, everyone. We're at cruise right now. And how do we get past Mach 0.75? Is it speed button or N1 button? I don't remember. It's not change over. Here we go. Turn that off. And we're going to do Mach 0.78. I think we might be able to get away with 80. Yeah. We could do Mach 0.80. Absolutely. Mach 0.80. Like a normal jet would. That's good. Yeah, Ryan, this is old school, man. Definitely, definitely. Do you prefer Microsoft or Explain OBU says? I prefer both OBU. I just like both sims for different reasons. And I'm so happy to have the choice between the two. I can fly the two, you know, different flying, different field, different things. That makes it nice. That's the beautiful part about simming is just have the choice between the two. So I wouldn't choose between one or the other, honestly. I wouldn't. Definitely, man. Yeah, Randall, power cut sucks. Whiskey for the pilot and then fly. I agree, man. I agree. Nice. XP, if both the INI and Fly by Wire A3 were out, which one would you use? More? Um, INI builds make a good A300. Love it. Fly by Wire makes a good A320 meal. I'm not sure which one would be the best one, though. That's the thing, right? I'm not sure which one would be the best one, to be honest. Which would be the best one uh, between the two? Little, 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 good question. I've seen some of the work that the fly-by-wire have done, I'm telling you right now. It, it looks good, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, Jack says, how long does it take to you to set up this flight plan before you start your live stream? Minimum, Jackson, 30 minutes. Minimum 30 minutes before my live stream. It takes me to set up. Is that simple? Yeah, minimum 30 minutes, Jackson. Minimum. At least. 30 minutes plus, depending. Yeah. 
Hand of God said it takes longer. It takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to update and download and all that stuff. And she hears me down here getting frustrated with the sim. Anyone need cake for a specific flight? I'm in or anything else to provide for you. Oh, Lord. Yeah, bring the cake. The cake, man. Bring it, bring it, bring it. For real. What's up, pilot boy? Big up, brother. Big up, pilot boy. Yeah, Southwest have NG models now. Um, NG Melbourne. They have NG. Gavin says, I and I, no question. There you go. So there is your answer. Next to what airflow is. Ah, good sounds can come down on that. There we go. That sounds better to me. Uh, let's run some tunes on this. Choo choo choo. As we go through. I love that engine though. The engine is nice. I love the, the polished cowling on that. Pretty good. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Love how all the gidgets are, are, are sneezed all over the panel. A far cry from the Airbus. Yeah, pilot boy. They have been touched, sneezed on, smeared the whole thing. They're just disgusting. Basically, yeah, man. the hand of God speaking the truth about these updates. Aviation media, I'm telling you, man, she's bored. She's bored the brunt of all those things. Uh, altitude alert. Did we break 33? Why are we going up? We do all the whole. Uh, level change in the back. Did we climb? Where are we at? 4,000. There we go. Alright, level change. Why did we climb up? MCP speed LNAV retard. Yeah. Hmm, my bad. We're like Mach 0.79. That's good. That should get us back down. I think we almost exceeded our thing there. Uh, speed, why are you dropping? Don't drop speed. We should be going back up. Altitude hold is on. Maybe because I switched over from VNAV to IAS Mach. All right, there we go. 33. Good thing I checked. We would have killed our passengers. All right, let's get the speed back up to uh, 0.80. That should be good. That should be good. Let's go flyby time. One thing I don't like, I don't like when the, the airplanes take over the master volume. That, I, that I'm not for. I love the able to control the master volume from master. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's try it again. Let's go. Uh, 737300, one of the best classes, Hector. I agree, man. I agree, brother. Absolutely, man. Aviation Jay's here. So, what's up, buddy? By the way, I'll finish my yesterday flight from MMGL to to SJC and land here in Mexico. Nice. Congrats, Aviation Jay. Congrats, man. Good to know, brother. Good to know. Love how all it can be called a semi automatic pilot boy. Yes, it can. <laughs> True, man. Um, Ryan, the thing with X-Plane and X-Plane's weather, it's actually real. Like, the, the clouds, the thunderstorms, you know, you fly through that, you'll get killed. <laughs> and the turbulence, you know. XP, make sure your LNAV and VNAV is on. I don't have my VNAV on for self pilot depth because I'm, I'm going faster, but my, um, my LNAV is on. Yeah, L LNAV is on. VNAV is not on because VNAV speed it. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I doing it backwards? 
Uh, let's go to cruise. 0. 0.80. Duh. Hold on. My bad. What am I doing? I don't know how to fly Airbus. I don't know how to fly Execute that. Now that's the commanded speed. Now we can do Fiend Avenue. There we go. Let's go on command 0. 0.80. Perfect. There you go. Uh, Fiend Avenue. TR 1180. LNAV, FMC speed. Good. So that is commanded right there. 33,000 feet. I completely forgot that you could do that. Completely. Mr. Owls FS. Owls. You fly this plane, Owls? This classic? You should, man. It's different beast, brother. You probably do already anyway. Big up, self, Owls. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. This also have the best shutdown sound out here. Probably better than Phoenix. Yeah. And Pala Boy, this, this sounded better in 11 than it did in... Um, Actually, it sounded better in 10 than it did in 11 and 12. It was raw back then, but yeah. Elliot Mesa XP, what ortho do you use with x Plane 12? Ortho, ortho, ortho 4 XP or something else. I use ortho 4 XP. So I'm an ortho 4 XP old, old head. I've had my ortho sceneries now for like four years or more, four or five years I've had ortho. So I have the entire United States. I have the Caribbean. I have all of Europe. Um, Parts of Asia, parts of Australia, parts of Africa. All in a two, two, two terabytes worth of orthos, but I rock. Yeah, I rock about two terabytes worth. But if I ever had a chance to do my ortho over again, I will do them in higher zoom levels. Especially around all the Europe But that's what that's what we're rocking. So that's zoom level 15 you're looking at down there on the ortho. That's ZL15 down there looking at right now. Oh yeah, Owls, it's good, man. It's old school flying, bro. It's old school. Nothing automatic in this plane. It's good. It's good to go. Yeah. Does this even have GPS or um, IND? Uh, INS. I think it's... I, I think it's... Well, I'm not sure if it's only INS or GPS is in here. I think it's got... G, no, it's got GPS. It's got GPS. The 722 has INS. That's the thing, man. Uh, Aviation Meters, yeah, that random rate in X-Plane is annoying, but uh, the version 1. Point whatever that's coming out soon should fix that. Should fix some lighting issues in the cockpit, etc., etc. Even better, man. Yeah. It's true. It's got some things to polish up. Absolutely. Yeah, it's got some things to polish up. For real. It certainly does. But... This is one of my first pair of airplanes. Look at that. Can we do a Greek island flight soon? Angie, I want to go back to um, Corfu. I want to go to Corfu as one of the places, because Corfu used to be a nice approach, Angie. And maybe another Greek, Greek island. Yeah, I used to go to Corfu a lot, true. Uh, CS Gaming says, this is one of the major things that keeps me away from explaining the ortho. Yeah, it is big, CSD Gaming. The or without ortho, for me, I don't know if I can fly without ortho or not. It is, a, it's a, it is a big point for a lot of people. It is. Turn off my... Uh, turn off. Yeah, it's a big point for me to ortho this year. Could we see the navigation page in the FMC, please? Oh, well, yeah, no problem. You could do Mykonos or Santorini. One of those two. True. All right, so in here, let me go to the Inet Ref. No, that wouldn't do it. Let's go to Menu. Acoms, I don't know, FMC. That's my Iraq. Feb January, February 2023. IXEG Classic. Um, I know that there's a GPS page here that has the GPS coordinates. There it goes. So there's that's GPS right there. That's GPS coordinates you're looking at. Yeah. There's IRS and the uh, there's GPS left. That's here, GPS right and I, IRS. Yeah. So there it is right there. True. Yeah, Greg, every day, man, every day. And that, that update I'm waiting for, man, definitely. I actually said I got to go climbing now, surgery on Friday, so making the most of my evenings to climb while people can. Andrew, enjoy your climbing, brother. Be safe. 
Take care. We'll talk, man. I'll see you on Friday. See you, man. Ortho Ortho works for you, Andre. I'm gonna give Ortho Ortho another try soon. I haven't given it a try or a decent try yet, but we'll we'll do Ortho Ortho soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do Ortho Ortho soon again, and give it a whirl and see if we like it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do Ortho Ortho soon and see what happens. I was having some issues, and, and, and HD said it's a United States issue with the Ortho Ortho. It was a US issue. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a, another whirl. Because Ortho Ortho would be good for people new to explain who don't want to spend the time to download all the Ortho photos. If they can get Ortho Ortho ironed out good, it would be good for new people who want to try it. I think so. Definitely. But yeah. We good. could do a cabin tour. We haven't gone in a cabin yet in this plane. Let's go. Is there a door lock on this thing? Yep. There it is. Door lock works. Let's go take a look at the generic cabin. Why does it have a, uh, uh, what is that? Swiss? Yeah. I love the 733. Look at that sticker on the oven. <laughs> All baked in and stuff. Let me close the cockpit door. The bathroom door doesn't work old school slides you could see the pressure on the slide pack right there you put the gus bar in the gus lock to arm it real old school let's go let's go take a look are you running anything for weather and clouds uh stock csd gaming i'm running stock on this i i find that all the cloud add-ons to me don't do do any do me anything that i i, I even like i just run stock i run most stock Horus, what's up, sir? Your thing should be here tomorrow, Horus. Should be here tomorrow, brother. If I get it tomorrow, I'll be having it on, wearing it on Friday, man. But big up, sir, Horus. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Mr. Winsberg says, are you still uh, playing Microsoft? Because I see a lot of x these days. Uh, gently. <laughs> uh, funny you ask. Yes. I play Microsoft 90% of the time. I just took the last three streams to do x -Plane. Because I haven't done x in a while, but 90% of my streaming is in Microsoft, man. It's just that this week, I've just said, you know what, let me keep x the world. Make sure my, my sim is up to date and all that good stuff. Look at some planes I haven't seen in a while. But yeah, we're back to Microsoft, man. Absolutely. I think I, I got burnt out on flying to Phoenix like 10 times in a row. <laughs> but we'll be back in Microsoft, man. Uh, no worries. You know, we, we fly all We fly all of it. All of it, all of it, all of it. Um, uh, gen, gen deal. We love both. Yep, there you go. Jamie and answer it. Exactly. About to take this plane out of the hangar? Greg, you should. You should, man. Old school, school bus seats. Yes. These seats have literally zero comfort. Straight up, easy to wipe off and clean, etc., etc. Yeah, that's what this is, man. What's up, Ice Mentality? Good evening, man. Welcome aboard. Good evening. Even the damn um, rubber in the galley down here is old. Old rubber in the galley floor. What is this? Cruise sheet. Old interphone, etc. Coffee maker. Yeah, I remember these days. These switches work. Oh, no way. What am I clicking? Stop clicking. Let's go back. I uh, no problem, Gentile. It's all good. It's all good, man. No problem, man. It's all good. I understand. I understand. Just get to fly some planes that I haven't touched in a minute. I haven't seen this plane in so long. It's one of my first loves. Are we at 32 and 9? Aquaman 7 8, that's good to go. And that. We got a crosswind, 84 knots crossed, and we're still on target to SGF, etc. etc. Give me a 
turn the sound down a little bit too much. It's better. Much better. We should do a long haul from Newark to Heathrow with the United 764. OBU, I'm waiting for that 777, man. I want that 777. Definitely. What's on the menu? Curry? I wish. I wish. Love me some curry, man. Absolutely love me some curry. Some curry, I check in. Curry go. I just had curry go on uh, Saturday. That was good. Definitely. That was very good. <clears throat> Two triple sevens I'm waiting on. The PMDG triple seven for Microsoft and the Flight Packer triple seven for x -Plane. I'm waiting on both of those bad boys. I'm wishing for them to come soon. Flying this plane without the wingtips is even nicer. The old, old school without wingtips. Uh, what we thinking as far as a PMD Triple Seven release? FS Expo or before? Oh, before gaming, CST gaming, definitely before. It's gonna be released before FS Expo. It better be released before FS Expo. We got March, April, May, June. We got four months, three and a half months to FS Expo. So, you know, makes curry noises. We're at Delamont, it's up. So, I can't wait three and a half months for a triple seven. It needs to be out like yesterday. Definitely. It just it just needs to be, man. We, we need a we need a proper long haul, I'm saying. Proper. So yeah, that's what we're waiting. It's been, it's been tested for a good while. Certainly has been. Certainly has been tested for a minute, man. So I'm hoping it comes out quick. What I like about PMDG though is that they make sure they iron out all the bugs in the airplanes before they drop them. So when they drop them, there's no issues. Fenex basically dropped with very few bugs, if any. Um, I and I Bell the same thing with the A300 for x and Microsoft. So I'm expecting PMDG to do the same thing, you know what I mean? Definitely. A380 Pilot Boy, I, I, I won't say I've given up hope, but I've stopped hoping. I haven't given up hope, but I've stopped hoping for the A300 to drop, just because, I mean, it just, it's, it is what, for the A380, it, it is what it is, that's all I could say, you know, hopefully one of these days, you know, we will get that bad boy up and running, and we're going to be okay, hopefully one of these days, so, I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see, man. Development just takes a long time. That's how I've learned. For real. Hot Start and Synaptic Simulation A220 gives you more expectations. Yeah, that's true. Um, <clears throat> JNG. So, Hot Start is making 220, and Synaptic is making 220. Now, I think Synaptic might come out before Hot Start, because Synaptic has been working on it before. Hot Start takes a longer time for development because it's only one guy. But when it's dropped, it's going to be excellent. That's the thing. Hot Start makes some of the best planes in any flight simulator. The Challenger 650, the TBM, you know, Challenger 650 might be the most complicated airplane made to date. So Hot Start making the 220, it's going to be good, but their development the time is probably going to be a long time. So I would I would say that uh, Synaptic is going to come out for, for Hot Start way before, definitely. My squad code is supposed to be 3635 Pickle Morty. Uh, you are. No. Auto ATC says my squad code should be 4132. 4132. 
Yeah, it's supposed to be 4132. There we go. 4132 is what Arthur ATC says. Let's double check that. Yeah, 4132 is what I'm getting here. You getting that? Let me know. Now, when the Flight Factor 350 version 2 comes out, I'm flying it around the world. Yeah, oh, man. Flight Factor um, Toll is 350. It's going to be number one in explain I think, Greg, when that drops. Definitely. That's gonna be legit, just just crazy. My airplane, we're going. We okay? We okay, plane? Yeah, we're just turning. Okay. Make sure we're just turning here without an issue. Make sure we're good. Yeah, looks like we're good. Awesome. Yeah. But we have a lot of planes. For for being in flight simming this long, there's a quite an awful lot of planes that we're still waiting on to come out. A three eight have been one of the longest ones, believe it or not. H rate has been supposed to come out since FSX P3D days, X plane days. Matt Davies was working on one that didn't happen, you know, and so forth. I was watching an FS 2004 777 landing, and that stutter on touchdown was there as well. Crazy, yeah. Somebody is streaming FS 2004, by the way. There is a guy on, on, on YouTube that streamed Flight Sim 2004, like right now. Seriously, no joke. There's somebody who streams FS 2004, <laughs> believe it or not. You're talking about me streaming X-Plane or P3D or FSX. There's a guy who's streaming FS 2004 on the internet. And it's interesting to watch, you know. It's interesting to watch, but yeah, he's got the planes and he's flying it. <laughs> Your squawk is actually 3635. Ah, uh, Sea Aviator, how, um, how do you, how do you know? Uh, the Auto ATC, let me just see something here. Uh, yeah, oh, for some reason, Auto ATC is saying that, oh, it changed, you're right. At first, they gave me 4132, then they gave me 3635, you're correct, I didn't see that. 3635 is what we need. So, 35... 36.35. Thanks, sir. You are good. There it is. It's changed. Awesome. Yo, what's up, Sherwin? Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard, man. How you doing? Hope you are well. Happy Wednesday to you, brother. It's hump day. Looking forward to the start of the weekend, Sherwin. Start of the weekend for the win is what we're, we're looking for. But big up, big up, Sherwin. Thank you so much, man. Sherwin, any news on the Triple Seven? PMDG, we can't wait, man. Can't wait to be flying that, brother. Absolutely. Can't wait. Any news on it? Let's see. XP, can we get an Air India A350 flight from Delhi to Istanbul or Hong Kong? Yeah, I'm narish. When the 350 comes out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, am I rocking ortho? Yes, I'm rocking ortho. Brian Tampa. What's going on, Brian? Oh, this is... Not, I'm missing a tile. This is ortho right here. What's going on, Brian? Welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the 10 months, Junior Wings. Good evening, Mr. Tampa. How you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Jack. Glad to have you on board, my friend. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Brian, big up yourself, man. Big up! Big up! So that is non-ortho, and that's ortho. See the difference? Here's the difference. See that? I'm missing a tile for some reason. I'm not quite sure why I'm missing a tile there. That's the difference. Yeah, Shaq. <laughs> you noticed that, yeah. Just saw that. 733 looks like a 737 from the outside. Yes, it does. It does look like that from the outside. Right there. I think it's the same size as the 700, personally. I think this is the same size as the 700. Chief Sim Pilot is in the house. Good evening, Chief. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Hope Paul is well. Oh, you're busy, man. Cheers, Chief. Happy Wednesday to you, bro. And the family. What do you Look who's here as well. T-Spec Motorsports. T-Spec. OG been around forever. What's up, T-Spec? Good night, my friend. What's up, man? How you doing? 
welcome, welcome, welcome. Pick up yourself. I'll call this well team spec. Thanks for checking it, man. Appreciate it. I'm ready for the Bluebird 75. Yeah, Bluebird 75 we're probably not going to see until like September, Titus. I'm waiting for that as well, man. We got lots of planes this year coming out for Microsoft and for x -Plane. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that as well. Definitely, man. Bob, what's it? Call me crazy, but there's something relaxing about the FS2004 ATC. <laughs> Somebody said it's better than some of the ATC now that we have. Uh, Sherwin says, nothing new for today. Today, George said, all default planes in 2024 will be payware quality. The Vision Jet in the trailer is one day bought from the P3D and will be removed from the marketplace. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Grab your, grab your Vision Jet quick, guys, before they move it from the marketplace. Thanks for the heads up, Sherwin. It's good to know. Thanks for the heads up. Big up. What's up, Mr. Martini? Big up. Big up yourself. Good evening, sir. Welcome aboard, Mr. Martini. To have you in the stream and chat, my friend. Pick up yourself. All right, let's go to some uh, screenshots here. First of all, Mr. Kill My Skills, rocking the 8300. Kill My Skills, that is X Plane? Oh, is that Microsoft? Kill My Skills. Which one is that? Is that Microsoft or X Plane? That's nice, man. We haven't rocked the FedEx Ops in, um, in this yet. In the 8300, nice one. We have a uh, terrific quarter block enjoying the view. On his huge screen TV. Monorific, who's that dude on your TV, bro? <laughs> nice, nice, nice monorific. Appreciate the relaxing, chilling with the PlayStation, with the PlayStation up here, the big boy PlayStation. Uh, nice monorific, nice. Who's that down here you got? Monorific quarter block for the win. Thanks, sir. Thank you, man. Yes, yes. Big up, brother. Got Captain Carl as well in the Southwest Split Scimitar 800 on taxi out. Nice, nice. Out of Omaha. Awesome, Captain Carl. Awesome, awesome. 3PD means third party. Oh, 3PD is third party developer. Oh, I thought it meant P3D, Sherman. Can't remember their name, but their vision jet is pretty damn good. There will be lots of um, third-party developed planes in there for free. Oh, that's going to be awesome, man. So Microsoft is stepping up the game as far as what they offer as base in the flight sim. That's good to know, sure. Can't beat that. The more the merrier. The more good free planes we have, the better it is for Microsoft. So look forward to that in 2024, bro. Absolutely. That's good to go. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's like some puzzles. Nice one, Captain Carl. This is Jordan flying in rain in the United. Is that thing playing Jingle Bell all the way? Stephen Day. <laughs> Southwest. Let's put Scimitar again too. Southwest Day today. Is that thing playing Jingle Bells? Stop it. Somebody love the 737s. Awesome, awesome, Stephen. Big up, big up, big up. And the last one for the handover. Here we go. Why am I have sneezing today? I have, I have uh, allergies. Allergies are killing me, guys. I'm, I'm feeling myself getting stuffed up there. That's crazy. Wow. Zala says, looks like you might be able to drive today, XP. It's already 9.30, Zato. I don't think I will be able to drive now. Alberto, a.k.a. Berto. What's going on? Berto, since you're here, I got to do this. I got to do this to you, Berto. Guys, cover your ears. Fly by for Alberto. Here we go. Fly by sound for Berto. Here we go. Let's do one more. One more for Berto. One more fly by for the man. Hi. 
Hi, Statsu, my friend. What's up, Berto? Good evening, man. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you in the stream and the chat. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you, thanks, sir. Big up, big up, Berto. Big up. It's, it's Christmas, you all. <laughs> I know. I know. You heard that. I was like, what the heck's playing, man? We are three months behind for Christmas. Yep, yeah, pretty much that. I'm pretty much. Yeah, Becky Davis, prayers for your dad. Prayers for your dad. Hopefully, he's going to be okay. Sorry to hear about that. The Sahara dust brought my allergies back. Sure, it's been kicking my butt, man. I swear. Whatever it is, man, I've been sneezing the whole day, brother. Yeah, it's that time of the year again. For real. Uh, what you got, Zada? What you got in flight some screenshot? Oh, Zada. No, man. Just no. I, I, I don't want to look at John Denver today. Like, seriously. Oh, my God. We're coming out of the Colorado Rockies. Every time I, I see this plane, I think depressurization and plane crash. Oh, my word. CST Gaming in the house. Wow, Scandinavia has snow. Minus 11. Look at that, bro. That's your landing? Minus 11? Awesome, 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 CST. Awesome. Guys, don't forget for CST Gaming's giveaway. If you're not part of this channel yet, you need to join CST Gaming on YouTube. It's got a magnificent giveaway coming up. It's going to be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Birdo, a.k.a. Alberto, in the house, dropping the $5 bomb. What's up, Birdo? Thank you so much, brother. Says, thank you, my G. Big up, big up yourself, Birdo. Cheers, man. Thank you, bro. Big up. Thank you, Birdo. Appreciate it. I saw this clip um, showing you can activate autopilot engines off in the Airbus. Sure enough, you can do it in the Phoenix. Right, let me get this straight. You can activate autopilot in the Airbus with engines off. Interesting. Okay. Right. Cool thank you, thank you, my G. Big up. Big up, Berto. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely, bro. Big up, big up. So, Berto says, I and I showed off their A320 Neo um, today. They have added some Phoenix level stuff in there. That's well, good. Good to know. Can't wait for that to come out. Uh, when, they, when are they thinking they're going to drop that? Uh, sure. When is the INI A3? A320 Neo coming out. Curious. Curious. Stop thinking about the pressurization issue of the Lear, and you know that incident was the fault of the pilots. <laughs> I know, man. I know, bro. Yeah. Ben Radburn. What's going on, Ben? Welcome, Gordon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pick welcome. up, Ben. Glad to have you, Richard. Appreciate it. Some flight you should fly into BDA. Uh, where's BDA then? What airport is BDA? Is that Bradley? I don't know. Some of these 15 is when it's dropping. Davis. Oh, nice. Good. Good to know. Mr. FedEx Pilot. What's up, man? Good evening, FedEx Pilot. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> so the 26, as long as there are no delays, they should, we should get the 320 from 9i bills. I got you, Sherman. I got you. I got you. Been looking at that tracking as well. XP look might be tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow. I check it out already. It was supposed to be today, but they stopped short down in um in um what we call the 
Pompton down here, Pompton Beach. No problem, man. I went spotting at my local airport, uh, Louisiana, and got to catch a rare FedEx uh, MD-11F landing there. Such amazing aircraft. Yeah, it's impressive, FedEx pilot. It is, it is, it is, it is amazing. Definitely. Sixty-eight miles to top of descent. Um, fuel quantity is twelve point eight top of descent. ETA fuel eleven point seven. So we're good. To Little Rock is eleven point seven. LSU seven point two. And um, all right, so we're good. We're good on fuel. Twelve point eight total right now. 2154 is our estimated arrival. I got the allergies, Joe. I got the allergies, man. Allergies for real. Uh, Jet Set Mills, what's up? This is the 73 Classic, the 737 300. That's it. That's what we're rocking. That's what Greg says. Spirit is doing um, Louisiana to San Juan. To San Juan? To Louisiana? Really? Spirit is doing Louisiana to San Juan on May 9th. FedEx pilot. Seriously? Wow. It's an interesting route. Good for them. Mr. So Rave, guys, at XP, what's on the menu today for drinks? I'm doing some white rum right now. Some white rum is what Definitely. Sherman says the biggest highlights for Sim Update 15 are improved ground handling. INI has implemented it. Improved performance, better support for helicopters like Governor Control and Dual Order Condition. Yeah, ground handling would be welcome, man. Um, as far as for performance, my, my Microsoft is smooth. I love it. Obi, you explain to us for the classic is like the A300 Microsoft model, just like the A321 Neo. Yeah, but totally have a lot to say about the 321 Neo, though. <laughs> What's up, GXGX? Good evening. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Naresh is here. XP, any long hauls coming up? We're waiting for the 777, man. We're waiting for the 777 for the long hauls to come up. That's what we need. 777. I would say it's got to be it. Nobody gets too much love anymore. It's as high as a mountain. I'm waiting in line. Nobody gets too much. Who's that? Who sings that song? Who can tell me? Crazy man. 
Jet set builds or something, man. Man, I just spent all my money on the Rotate MD80 for BMD 737-900. I guess I'll have to to <laughs> buy the 733 later. Oh, sorry, Jet Sets. Next time, man. Next time, man. Beto Silver Gamer. What's up, man? Big up. Beto Silver. Oh, there we go. Trust set. The man, the myth, the brethren knows exactly who sings that song. Yes, yes. Yep, BGs. Jamie and Manning as well. Captain Amby, the BGs. Birdo, the BGs. Brian Eater, the BGs. Nice. T Spec Motorsport, the BGs. The Brothers Gib. Oh, Raven, Rave Guy. Yes, yes. Yep, Raven, man. Definitely, bro. Definitely. BG's for the win, bro. BG's for the win. Yeah, Emmett. Absolutely, man. Yeah, them, them, them boys know how to sing. Like, seriously. The brothers give. Can we do a flight to Heathrow? Uh, Jordan Rivera on the next long haul. We should be able to do that. Absolutely. Man. Frames. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Easy with the stutters there. I hear them see me badly. Very bad. Only one of them still alive, yeah? Um was it um, Barry Gibb or Andy Gibb? Which one is still alive? Andy Gibb is still alive. I think so. It's crazy. You should do uh, Louisiana to London BA 788. It says FedEx pilot. <laughs> How excited are you for the Triple Seven? And what would be your first flight? Very, 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 very excited, great guy for the Triple Seven. Can't wait, man. Either, either one. First flight. It's probably not going to be a long haul, believe it or not. I need like a shorter flight just to um, just to shake it out, make sure I know what I'm doing before I take it on a long haul, man. Seeing some Michael McDonald. I can't do Michael McDonald's voice, Birdo. Michael McDonald is, uh, is, is just a champ, man. Michael McDonald is a champ, bro. I love Michael McDonald's duet with, um, who was he, who did he do a duet with, what's her name, I forgot, I forgot who it was. If you want to know which one is the brother, it was Robin, Robin, uh, Gibbs, and then, yeah, Barry, the oldest one, exactly, the oldest and oldest one. Here, play it, are you rolling with me? Okay, I'm just saying. X-Men clouds are easily identifiable for all the wrong reasons. The high clouds are really good, though. Um, yeah, needs work. I have my clouds on low, by the way, right now. I turn them down low because I am suffering some CPU issues when the clouds are high. They need to optimize them. Cancun to IAH is a decent triple seven flight. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Uh, but it's not a bad one. How about something to Iceland? I don't think I've flown to Iceland right now. Not sure if I have. Not sure if I have at all. Not sure if I have. It's not Iceland yet. Yeah, Barry is the only one alive today, Emmett. The, yeah, the long, the oldest one, the tallest one. Yeah. What's up, Sterling's Playhouse? Hello, man. Welcome. Glad to have you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, so we are heading directly top of the sense about a hundred, about two hundred miles directly to Louisiana right now. Uh, flight time so far is only one hour and ten minutes into a two-hour flight. Not bad. <clears throat> not bad. Have you been having some issues with Microsoft lately? Uh, Raven Guy, not really, no. Uh, mine's been fine. Even though I'm on a beta. Definitely. 
Uh, gotta do the longest flight uh, in the 757 operated by United from Newark to um, Stockholm. Really? First officer pilot then. Newark, Stockholm, 75. I know that. What are your tips for learning how to set autopilot route before flights? Uh, Sterling Playhouse. I have a Boeing and an Airbus tutorial for that on my channel. So you could do a Boeing tutorial on my channel and an Airbus tutorial, how to set up the autopilot and stuff. I have it on my channel for flight sims. Yeah. yeah. And he was the youngest and he was the first to go because of oh yeah. Yeah, damn it. So sad for him. His solo career only lasted so long. Is this a Steam Gate 73? Yes, Mr. C D Flyer. Steam gauges for the win, man. Look at that. All steam gauges, bro. You're going to DC tomorrow? Jet set? Nice. It's the jet set builds good evening, man. Welcome. Can we go to Casper, Wyoming, if you can? I don't think I have a Casper, Wyoming scene. Process is XP. Uh, have you seen the new M8? If so, what do you think about it? Is that the 2024 M8? 2024 uh, M8. I can tell you right now, I don't like how the new X1 looks. It looks hideous. M8 is always a hit hit and miss for me. Sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. Like this one here in green. This one here in green looks good. If it load. Yeah, it, it, it all depends. 132.55 and the center is on. 32.55. Give me a second here. 55. 37, 86, Jeez. 24, um, can you load already? Let's turn on my browser. Is the hand of God upstairs watching? Um, like that's not bad looking at all. That that right there is not bad looking. Uh, this convertible also looks good. That looks good too. But I love them. They're big cars. They're 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 GTs. They're Grand Tours. And all the Grand Tours just it's just love. That convertible looks good. I'm not sure what's going on with BMW styling lately, to be honest. Especially on the trucks, they look hideous. But that's not bad. And the back also looks good too. So yeah, it does look good. The M8 does look good. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. Have you heard of the Hindenburg coming out for Microsoft 2020? Sterling's Playhouse, my question would be why? <laughs> but hey, it's a flight sim. Can I get it? Yeah, they didn't go nuts with the kidney grills like the trucks. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. And Southwest 2006 for a flight level 330. Is that by our old ones, but if it were a new one, 24 M8. Alright, that's good. We're in. We're in. Uh, Olive said this plane is still active in Venezuela on a local airline called Avior. They also have a 737-200. Wow. Avior airline. Interesting. A-V-I-O-R. Airlines, yeah? Good day. Southwest Avior Airlines is. Yep, Venezuelan Airlines. Avior.com. What did their fleet look like? Domestic flight, international flight. 
they sure their fleet? Probably not. There's a 200. You were right. Look at the engines on that. Oh, that that paint job on the 200. That looks good. Wow. Look at that livery on on that 200. Look at that engine. That looks good. Man. I like that. This is. This is the I did actually reach on that. That looks like no, that's not it. And they have an A340. They have an A340 as well. Wow. Nice. But this yeah, this is class 200 right here. That's nuts. That looks good. I like that. Very nice. Never heard of them before. Never heard of them before. That's very nice. Wow. Sound of the M8 sounds good. You sure it's not sound pumping through the speakers? Now, Sterling's Playhouse, a two to three day voyage, that would be a real long haul flight. In a, in a, the Hindenburg. Wow. It would be interesting. Streaming for, for three days, trying to get across from uh, Germany to um, to New York. The Hindenburg. A three days stream. Non stop. Yeah, that looks good, man. Love the black mask on the cockpit windows. Yes, that was Adam. That actually does look good. I love it. Love it yeah. 722. Uh, 732 has the JT8 engine, same as the MD80. Yes, they do. Absolutely, they do. definitely. Are you able to do a flight to Casper, Wyoming? Uh, not now, Junior. Not now. Yeah. I remember doing a flight on Ryanair 732. I remember seeing the clamshell reverses on landing, and something else than them clamshells or something else. Sounds are being pumped to the speakers, it better be like GT and T T50 where they play the intake sounds from the speakers and not digitally made up in the actual sounds. Zato, they're doing a lot of that nonsense right now, and it sucks. That car manufacturers have to pump sounds from speakers. All because you're going below the space for the That's man. True story, bro. True story. Zato in a sacrilege R8. Let's see, where is this Zato? What track is this? Oh, it's a spa. Zato, who are you racing at spa? In that oddly colored R8. Flat out, who's gonna lift before that one? That is the question. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Good to go. Same guy that made the McLaren F1. Yes. I was on a South to 73 Max 8 on Sunday. I did not see a single Canyon Blue livery at every airport we landed out. Cannon blue livery is done, man. Uh, 
uh, double checking the record at home. Um, Southwest 2806, actually, uh, looks like I'm the wreck LS for some reason. Um, I had filed a particular arrival and had to change it at the last minute. My FMC didn't have it. Uh, looks like I'll be on the um, Adwadi one arrival. Has addressed these before they said that it rises low because of the clouds or resources heavy as I mentioned earlier. They haven't solved that yet. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that, that new update to come out, Sharon. Uh, we'll see what they've done with that new update. Uh, they're they're going to be optimized, optimizing some um, CPU and lab stuff on that. We'll see what they do. They're taking the old Cannon Blues livery away. Yes, it's the Heart One livery now, Sterling's Warehouse. It's the Heart livery is coming out. I love the Heart livery. It's the all livery that's coming out on that. The all it's the Heart livery. Love that. Uh, Wade Francis, good night. Getting some issues setting up the reverses on the TCA Bowling Throttle mod. They are not registering in the X Men 12. Uh, Wade Grant, so. What I have for reversals is, is uh, called. Hold Reversers Max. Um, Wade. So use Hold Reversers Max. Or you could do whole reverse medium or something like that. It's so it's gonna be whole reverse, not toggle reverse. It's gonna be flat over two nine zero times two nine six. Yeah, so it's gonna be whole reverse max. So look that up and use that instead. That's what I use to level change here. Alright, level change it down to two nine zero. 134.42 and says there you go. Cool. And good evening, Houston Center, Southwest 2806, leaving a 3174 fly level to manager. What's up, JP Boss Life? Big up self, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Long time no see, man. Hope you're well. Good evening, brother. Glad to have you. Man. Appreciate JP Boss, man. Yeah. Are you here? Send me something on Discord? I, I'll probably give you a second. KDR Gaming, what's up? Good evening, welcome aboard. Zsim Powell is here. Says, big up yourself, brother. How is it going, Friday? It's good. KDR. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, the 12.1 update Mamba 2024 is going to be good. Definitely. All right. Um, let's go with Discord. And Yahia. In is uh, Etihad A380. That's what we want to see in the sim. That's what we want in the sim, Yahia. Etihad. Etihad A380. Should be nice. Jeez, look at the screen. One of these days you're here, we'll get it in our city. Let's 
No Congo Line today, found something. Yeah, man, everybody's tired, bro. Tired for the week. Green Light, Potter Bro, Chris is here. What's up, Green Light? Good evening, man. Good evening, brother. Well, Green Light, how you doing? Happy Wednesday to you. Jazzy, the any passenger trying to open up anything in my airplane, they're not gonna like what will happen to them because my passengers are in the plane. Where's the exit? Uh, there's a bridge. Uh, uh, this is the legroom seat right here. That is a legroom seat. Alright, so, um, Memphis is on, so we don't have anything for our, uh, 290 is good. Alright, let's go ahead and do a couple things here. Let's go over, let's go airport, we can clean you, and, um, this is the ODAT 1 arrival, that's what we're going to be doing out of SMLSU. Let's go to the airport, that's good. And uh, we're set up for runway 1. And yeah, the approach is going to be, um, I think it's uh, 1 1. What am I saying? 1 1 on this? Check target out. Set up for 11. So here we go, runway level coming in from the west, landing to the east, it's a 10,000 foot runway, that is fine. Alright, that's good, so we're coming in there. And uh, all that is going to be 106.9, 106 on the course, with a minimum of 204. Set 204 here for the men's. If you want to see a good move, you should watch Free Fall Flight, one second for William Devane and Shelley Hacker, Marriott Harley. Is that an old movie? Joe Mayer? Is that an old movie? Alright, a little bit of weather in front of us there, because we have a working weather radar, that's fine. And on a Delta 3420, I just need a couple minutes to edit my FMC here, I put in four originally. Alright, so a little bit of clouds we're going to be going through here. Um, that's in front of us right here, but it shouldn't be a problem. It should be alright. Greetings from Germany. Mr. Video Maker 1000. What's going on, Video Maker? Good evening, brother. Glad to have you on Video Maker. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you very much. How are you? Yes. Into the clouds we go. Right in there. Oh, boy. This is ought to be interesting. Yeah, we should be good. 
that let me get tossed around a bit, but we're gonna be alright. Zada, where have you been? I already showed you this. You missed it. Rewind. <laughs> I showed them. Yeah, so got the clouds in front of us, and you got the clouds depicted in front of us here. Good thing is that there is no thunderstorm in those clouds. It's all green, no reds or yellow, so we're going to be okay flying through that. Uh, anti icing needs to come on, though. That's the thing. Okay, we'll turn on anti icing. Where is my anti ice? And Alright, so top of the scent is coming up at about uh, 40 miles. Top of the Alright, that's good. Not bad. Alright, Zadok, no problem, man. Yeah, we're going to be descending here in about 40 miles, uh, Joel. About 40 miles from me. Down. On the ground. Well, Do you also fly the Concorde sometimes, Video Maker? No, I have not fly the Concorde at all. I have not, man. 4040 ends up anywhere near there. Yeah, we should be done. Yeah, no, nothing bad on the turbulence because we don't have any reds in here. That's the thing about the weather radar on X-Men. It is very accurate. If you fly through red, you will die. <laughs> Green, you're going to be just tossed around, but you'll be okay. You'll be good. All right. All right, so, yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Look at that pattern. Wow. First time I've seen XP not in a Congo line with, with other viewers. Nerdy. Uh, there's only about four of us flying today on this one. Going in. It's only about four of us. I guess nobody wants to go to New Orleans at all. Yeah. Alright, no problem, Nerdy. Not a problem, brother. It's all good. Alright, let's go. LNAV and VNAV is on. We're gonna go 11,000 up here. We're gonna have to take care of that. What approach did you plan, sir? Plan in the RNF. 11,000. I'm gonna have it. Do you want that from the heat duct or did you have something else in mind? That's good. Now we should be done. Oh, we were just planning that from heat duct. Found the livery and race departments out of? That's interesting. Thought you made it. Thought you made it, bro. Alright, top of the sand, 20 miles to go. Eighteen miles to go. We're almost there. We're gonna hit the VNAV button, that should take us down. Alright, so um approach settings. Recall check. Recall check, uh, cabin altitude set for landing, auto brake set, speed bugs are set for our speed. Did we set the speed bug? I think we did, no. Flap 30, 135. That's good. No, we're set. Now let's go ahead and hit the uh, VNAV here.
can't be. Sing and dancing on the ceiling. What a feeling when we're dancing on the ceiling. I get the grabbing units now. Seven fifty five uh, into New Orleans. We're looking at what? Yeah, we got that. Uh, time to start descending now. All right, let's change it. Sure All right, all that at eleven. We got a V speed is down here. Get that. And we're going to be looking at about. Start our descent. Seatbelt sign can go on. That is good. Good to go. Uh, watch our speed here on the descent. Seven, eight. All right, so there we go. On this end, down to all that. Not bad. Hats off to Mr. Billy Ocean. Caribbean Queen. Can you see me the same thing? And I heard it be this part. Get center, Delta. 1, 3, right, Delta 3420, runway 13, right, flyer. Alright, speed's good. Descent rate is fine. We're right. bringing uh, her down. Heading, I'm gonna go to some anti-ice here. So we don't screw these clouds. Airspace, 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 what happened to Billy Ocean? I don't know. I hope he's alright. Alright, recall check on descent. We're good. Let me go ahead and pause the music here. Let me get the volume back up on you so we can now listen to our and here it is. Alright, let's move on the approach out to 306. After all that, I can direct to the other six. Alright, after all that. Speed's good. Sent rate is fine. And uh, we got a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a All right, transition speed is good. 20. We got all that no time. We go. Only 400 feet a minute. That ought to take care of it. We go to the range. That is fantastic.
Ah, let's get this, let's get it, let's get it. Altimeter is going to be two nine and nine and nine. Let's go two nine and nine and nine. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. Two triple nine is in the box. That's good. Let's we'll get it back. Good. And let me bring her in at 17. Yeah. All right, so we got weather, but. Jones, good evening, brother. Welcome. Looking at our arrival, Audad direct to Fudu, and then Audad at 11, that's fine. And then our arrival, we're picking up um, Fudu at, at what? Fudu 4000, uh, Fifth Alice, going to approach the M6. There we go. There is the turbulence coming through the clouds. We don't have anti-ice needed, but we're going through the clouds, and we're, yeah. Let's bring this back to the uh, city here. Better get it back to 250. So we're down. And we good. Let's go ahead and get some breaks out as well. Oh, we're getting rocked. Look at that. Oh, my word. Next one, Toby. Yeah. Uh, anti I shouldn't be needed because we are plus one. Plus one on the time we can bring it together. We're not going to fall out. Speed breaks out, though. Hard. There's 10,000. Let's go ahead. Sheesh. 
can. Speed's coming back. A bit of rain. We'll get through that. But it's not good. Mr. Lantani, make sure you get some food. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Get the heat up here. There's our left turn. Below the glide, here is the glide slope. Let's start sliding down here. I'm gonna arm the localizer on this. I wanna pick up the loc here as soon as we can. This one's coming back, let's go to the landing here. Landing is going to be cut. And it's gonna be 1.5. Good. Uh, 20. Okay, we go 200 on the speed. 200 on the speed. That's good. Get the speed back. Uh, localizer is armed. We should be looking at the localizer here shortly. We're going to speed. We're about 25 miles out. We'll go 180 until like uh, 10 miles from the start slowing it down. Yeah, Canadian name was over speeding. I think I had my flaps out a little bit too far there. Alright, everything looks good. Just that terrain radar. I'm going to turn off the terrain radar here. Terrain radar is off. Only weather radar is on. Alright, so we are bringing her down slowly. 1,000 feet a minute. But we are below the glide. Here's the glide slope. Um, once we get the localizer, we'll arm everything here. There's LNAVs. So speed's going back nicely. That's good. And phone gun speed. Uh, internet. <laughs> Uh, so far, so good. No problem so far, man. Let's see. Alright, so we are good there. Speed is back at 215. Uh, localizer is captured. Let's go ahead and arm the... Uh, approach is armed, and we're breaking down. Very good. Speed's back at 200. We level at four right there. I'm going to keep it right there and bring her down. Yeah. Right, we're good. There's a the Mississippi River. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Brad Benavsky, what's going on, Brad? Welcome back, man. Welcome. Alright, 200 on the speed. That's fine. Level at 4. That's good. So we should be on the arrival. Come up over between Voodoo and Madberg. So we're about Madberg. We're, uh, it's going to be about. Madberg is 5 out. Turtle is uh, 15 out. Coming up to Turtle. So we're coming up to about Turtle right now. Should be 15 out. And we're still in the soup. Still can't see anything. Welcome back, Andy. Level at 4. 200 knots, good. Speed brakes, armed. Auto brakes, set and armed. It's coming through. Mm 
can't see much here. I'm gonna level that three to get that. Alright, localized glide slope is coming in. We are 16 out, maintain 200. We're gonna go 180 at about 10 or something like that. Go from there. Snowbird 5641. Snowbird 5641. What a call sign. Alright. What is this? Uh, single channel. Do dual channel? Does that, does that dual channel? Alright, there we go. Glide slope is set. We are 14 out. So we're descending on the glide right now. That's good. Uh, Andy, did you get an update? Not really. We're still waiting for the one point. Okay. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. 11 out. Let's go 180. Because this airplane is kind of slippery. Let's go flat 5. Flat vibes come out. Beautiful. Look at that. Just land the spur. Let's get her down. Let's go. Still can't see anything. Want that. Nine out. 135 for landing. Let's go 170. Let's go another 100 flaps. We're gonna go gear down at about 5 knots. We're gonna slow down this thing. It's still slippery. Alright, we're gonna go 170. Yeah, it's coming back. That's good. Go ahead and arm these speed brakes here. Speed brakes armed. So speed brakes armed. We're six out. So we're going to get our uh, uh, three on this. Go ahead and fully config here. Lights, lights, lights. Lights. Alright, we're good. Let's go flap. Flap and flap 30. Alright, full flaps. Air down. Three games. Auto brake set. Speed to the back. And we see our runway now. She's turning down by brakes. Check. I don't know what it is. Set. Looks good. I think we're going to fly by on the approach. Get it down. Alright, here we go. Should we take it yet? Let's go, my airplane. Seatbelt is on. Let's go, my airplane. My throttle. Throttle is mine. There she goes. Four hundred. Check. Three hundred. Sierra forty four, turn left heading. Turn left heading two one zero. Join the runway one eight left localizer. Minimum. Landing. Sierra four four, what's that heading? What's on? Turn turn left heading two one zero. Join the runway one eight left localizer. Left 210, 180 left localizer. 50 over the numbers. Light, light, 
Take that. First landing of the IXCG after one year. Reversers. Get the nose down. Here we go. Reversers on. Speed brakes deployed. And she is reversing, ladies and gentlemen. Love that. And let's go hard on the brakes. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Louisiana. The local time is 3.28 p.m. And it's currently about left here. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use the mobile devices. I'll take that. Please I'll take that anybody. Until the aircraft has come to a complete Absolutely. stop and if the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bin. Items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us. Alright, here we go. Did we get off to the correct side? No, we got off to the... yeah. There we go. And uh, Southwest 2806 cleared runway uh, 11. 2806, uh, New Orleans approach is online 125.5. You can take care of you. Have a good night. 255, 2806, thank you very much. Our uh, flaps can't come up. Let's go 255 and get him 25.5. And let's stop here for a second. Good to go. And New Orleans approach, uh, Southwest 2806 cleared runway 11. Golf 6. Southwest 2806, Norman's approach. Hello, taxi parking via Golf. Parking via Golf 2806, thanks. Alright, let's go. Let's go ahead and get the parking started. A couple of things we can turn off to turn off. Taxi light remains on. Let's go you. Let's go you. Let's off and off and off. And a United 1948 south side of the North Terminal with Yankee Taxi. Off. Uh, let's go ahead and turn strobe, can off as well, and we have anti-collision on, and it shows off, alright, not bad, uh, we can stop the clock over here as well, so two hours is our flight time on this. Two old hours. It's good. Exactly what it says. Two old one. <coughs> uh, hopefully we can get to see this replay here. Let me go ahead and make a left and go across to ramp. And oh man, good thing the stutters didn't get me until after we landed, which is good. Love that. All right, Tim Freeland, thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Caleb, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, go across the ramp here. Oh, we have to go around. I don't know if this is correct. I think we're like cutting for a cut. I think we are. No, we're not. That's that's a uh, area. Good. And we can taxi over to one of these gates if you want. We can go to gates over here to our left. That A B D missed it. Sorry, bro. All right, so flap up. Speed brakes off. That's good. Lights are off. And we're going to try to find the southwest gates over here. I'm not sure where the southwest gates are, if any. I'm just going to go to the gate straight ahead. And then we can ask you to take the gates right there to the left side. And see. Let's do that. Alright, good to go. Let's go take this gate right here. That's going to be us. Turn off the taxi lights. Can't come off. Delta 131, Start are you going to be able to make 4,000 at Ray Do you need some turns? Should be good. Uh, Let's negative. Go. Well, we had like a late go here. Just, ooh, the uh, audio gets here. Look at that. Okay, Delta 131, uh, make a left 360 uh, right where you are, and then we'll get you down. Yeah, audio gets working here. Uh, it says uh, Boeing 733. Look at that. Wow. 15 meters, 14 meters, 12 meters, 11, 10, 9. Come on, let's go. Get her up. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That does work. Identified the plane as well. That's interesting. 2, 1, and stop. There you go. This is a vertical sim scene. It's a vertical sim. Let's go park break on. 
clock breaks on. Let me uh, open windows so we can hear the... the uh, no, we have to do this. Couple things we gotta do. Let's go to land mode. We have AP running. Gen 1, Gen 2. That's good. Let's go bleed. Can't come on. Engine bleed off. That's fine. Let's go pedo heat. And let's go yaw damper off. That's good. Now we can open the doors. Not yet. It's gotta cool down first. And then we'll get it done. Give me a second here, guys. United 1940. Yeah, replays on. Uh, Alright, ready for the spool down? Here we go. Engine 1. And engine 2. Spool down. Oh, oh, oh nice. No smoking. Speed out. That's good. And wait till the end to get to a certain level. Then we will turn off light and we can go. Caleb, Omaha is your airport. Awesome, awesome, brother. Absolutely, man. Get yourself, man. You like flying up a car right now. I'm getting car wash. Yeah. There you go. Now we can go to uh, beacon lights. Can't go. I'm back to the car. Yeah, I'm back to the car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to mm -hmm. Here comes the Jack Ridge. Wallets. Wow. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Vertical Symphony Seniors. These seniors are nice. And here goes, who's that? Delta? Who's that? Out. United is on the way out. Man, these guys drive the Jack Ridge really slow. You should fly the outside of the plane sometime, Joe Mir. No, uh, not a video game, man. It's more like a simulator for me, man. It's really cool considering some of the century yeah, engines have been running on MCP as well. Yes, they do. Yes, That's they absolutely do. Down, yeah, no, so, yeah. Really Guys, not bad. Not a bad flight uh, at yeah, all. Um, everything is running. Everything is off. Seatbelt signs off. Anti-collision off. Ring lights is off. And bleed is good. Let me go ahead and open up some doors and beat the one all the past. Left turn direct way off. Screw you. Left turn direct way off. That's the one that I want. Open the passenger door. That's good. And um, that's good. Ground services. Open uh, cargo doors. And here we go. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome. That was a good flight. Enjoy that. Enjoy that thoroughly. Now we can go look at the uh, flight plan, the landing rate, see what we did on the landing rate. All that good stuff. Which is good. Nice. Both of us landed back. Good. Yes. Uh, Emmett. That was good, man. That was good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Was going to play some Hunt Showdown tonight, but you got me flying from Chicago to DC. The Aviator. That's what it's about. Flight, man. Alright, let's go here. Let's look at um, PackX. Let's interact. Let's go menu. Passenger satisfaction one is the satisfaction one. Passenger satisfaction is 91%. Let's go ahead and end the flight. Landing was a 377. Don't think so, but whatever. Close that. Sim toolkit process our landing, which was this right here, was a 219. That's more like a 219 on the landing. I'll take that one. Shot, definite shout out to ATC this evening, sir. Absolutely. All right, we are done. Yeah, that is good there. Right let's go ahead and okay, end our flight way. here. And let's go ahead and run the replay on this and see how we did on the replay. Let's see what it looks like. Absolutely. Replay time. Let's go. Flight. Toggle replay mode, and somebody says, do not drag the slider at all, so we're not going to drag the slider. We're just going to do it. Look at the clouds moving in the replay. Look at the clouds moving. Love that. Alright, there we go. Maybe we can drag the slider. Just a tad. No, let's close the doors. First, let's do that. Let's close that. That's good. Alright, 
Let's close up the cargo doors as well. Box witnesses. Cargo. That's good. Now let's drive this back. There's a touchdown. landing coming in here let's go sorry for this thing to be so loud here we go all right here's our landing coming in we're ways out mr farmer thank you sir appreciate it mr farmer thank you thank you man Ooh, that was, whoa, 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 whoa. let's go down to the ground and check this out hold on a second let's go let's go this was firm, but good. I, th I would say so. Let's watch it from here. Let's go ahead and rewind that. And uh, bring him out here. Let's watch our landing from here and see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I say firm, firm, but good. Firm but good, definitely. Let's go. Let's watch this again. Oh yeah, I got the money. Maybe a little too quick with the nose, but we got that bad boy down. Absolutely, maybe a little too quick in the nose, man. When's the next long haul? Not sure. Not sure when it is, to be honest. Wait for the triple seven to pop. Yes. Yes. That's good, man. Sean the Kid, what's up, sir? Welcome aboard, Sean the Kid. Glad to have you in the stream and chat. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, center line here. See if we maintain the center line or we're off the center line, not sure. Within the range. Thank you, Andy. We'll take that. It was within the range. To the left here on the center line. Middle to the left. Middle to the left. Not bad. Let's go, let's go. Middle to the left. Let's do one more flyby one like this. Let's go. And watch it from here. Given the rain, you should want firm runway contact. Exactly. I would say so. Got it now. All right, a few more. Let's go. Wing through time. We didn't mess up the flex of the wing on this. I do it from here. Let's see what it looks like. Thank you, TRB. Appreciate it, sir. Oh, 
call, yeah. But a passenger, that fell smooth. That definitely smelled smooth, but a smooth for the passenger. Definitely smell food. <laughs> smell food. Felt smooth for the passenger. Let's go do one from here. Let's see what that looks like. Gentle people, thank you one and all for being in the stream and the chat. Thank you for all the moderators, all the sponsors of the channel. Thank you for all the likes, all the loves. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for being a part of the experience. We'll be back on Friday with more Fly Guys. Absolutely, we'll be back. Make up ourselves one and all. Shout out to all the mods on the channel. I appreciate you guys. Love everything you do. We'll be back with it. More and more. Appreciate it. And as we always say, let's go ahead and do one. Let us. On the track. I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care. We are out. See you. Later, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. Take care. See you.